so I just filmed this whole vlog and I looked up to see how long it was and I realized I wasn't filming so I'm a dumbass yeah hiya fishy folks welcome back to Michael's fish room today's video a vlog yours truly talking to you guys about what's going on in the fish room so grab yourself a beverage and a snack and of course let me know down in the comments below what said snack and beverage are and uh, stand by All right, fishy folks, we're back. Since I always ask you for snack and beverage, I'd like to tell you what I made for breakfast. I made street breakfast tacos or breakfast street tacos, the little flour uh, taco shells, tortillas, and some scrambled eggs, and some bacon, of course, and some cheese. And uh, I had two of those for breakfast and some Tropicana Pure Premium, no pulp orange juice. I don't like pulp. Get that pulp out of here. Pulp is for losers. Anyway, um, let's talk about what's going on in Michael's fish room. So, to be blatantly honest, as I always am, I just have no motivation right now to do anything. This self-quarantining, while I don't like people, there are certain, in general, there are certain people that I like talking to and seeing every day, like some of my coworkers. And of course, we can't do that, because, uh, you know, we're self-quarantining, we're working from home. Um, but I don't, I don't like people, so when I go out to the store and Dumbasses aren't following the six-foot rule and uh, you know staying away from people social distancing it really bothers me but anyway fish room talk lack of motivation because of that the lack of motivation down here means projects that I should absolutely be doing I I'm not and I got to get motivated um, Barbara Jackson my good friend from California challenged me and I declined she has some projects she's doing Barbara I hope you uh, you move those tanks today I really haven't done anything in the fish room. I've been playing FIFA. So, yeah. I mean, working. I've been working because I'm working from home now. Anyway, some things I am doing in the fish room, which don't really require much work, is I come down three or four times a day at least and feed extra. I'm feeding heavy um, because I have lots of tanks with fry and juveniles that are growing out. I want them to grow out as fast as possible so I can sell them. Really appreciate all the orders on the website. Thank you so much. Uh, I continue to get, you know, a bunch every day, which makes for a very interesting Sunday and night and Monday morning boxing and going to the post office. Uh, so I, I do. I really appreciate it. But I, like I said, I've been feeding. I've been uh, uh, checking on fish and removing. I, I would say it's culling, but I'm not throwing them out or giving them to chewy. I'm, I'm culling guppies. Uh, to keep the lines as clean as possible and I'm putting those in the mutt tank. Speaking of mutts, I was gonna put ponds out this weekend, at least one or two with a heater and uh, see how the temperature fluctuates overnight. Unfortunately, it's supposed to be like 35 degrees on sa Saturday night. Like, what the hell, Mother Nature? It's April already. It should be in the 60s every day. Yesterday was weird here. It was like 72 or 73 and then at about 5 30 a storm rolled in and it dropped down to 55 and then it's been chilly ever since anyway what else am i doing ah so you guys know i love the mom mom for life people mom is what helps my plecos grow and breed and i have a tank it's actually right here next to where i usually film it's the uh the um albino pleco tank that has the ginormous albino plecos, the ones I had outside last year. There has to be 300 pleco fry in there, both albino and regular. And uh, there's also some guppies that I breed in there. It's a dual breeding for profit tank. The flamingo guppies are in there, which are currently on back order because they don't have, uh, I only have my breeding, I think it's a three females and one male left, and then a bunch of fry that are growing out. Anyway, that tank had a pile of mom in the middle. It was like this high and like this wide. And I'm thinking I, I probably want to start cleaning that out a little bit. Not all of it, of course, but a little bit. And obviously the mom is good for the, the, the plecos because they're breeding like mad in there. It's, I get more pleco production out of that tank than any other one. But eventually it's going to be a problem, so I'm trying to cut it down right now. So what I'm, what I'm doing now is I do extra water changes every couple hours and I have a hang on back filter so I'll stir up the mom let the hang on back filter run till it clogs which doesn't take very long clean the, the sponges start the process over again so that'll take a day or two to clean up 
and uh, hopefully I'll show that to you in the next the next tour. A um, couple other things I'm doing: I'm moving some plecos into from breeding tanks into grow out tanks. Um, the tank, the the 20 long that's up there next to Chewy's tank on the top shelf, that is a grow out tank of plecos. Um, and then there's a tank right here. <laughs> that has uh, the red snakeskin guppies and albino plecos. And um, I'm trying to, to get those albino plecos out and into that grow out tank, but there's so many of them and there's so much uh, other guppies and that there are caves and java moss, it's really a pain in the behind. But it's a project in the fish room. Uh, the bench, workbench, has been cleaned off, but then I went into my cart looking for a drill bit, specific drill bit, to add airlines to my air system. And uh, the, the workbench is a mess. Let me show you something though. So these valves from Gemco, sorry. These are the AV1E air valve from Gemco. And these are the best ones, I think. They're, uh, they're metal and they're threaded on, on one end, Let's see. And then they have the, the valve open and closed. So, you know, open lets the air flow and then you can meter it or close it, you know, whichever you wanna do by that. Uh, anyway, Gemco sells a drill bit that you drill into the plastic, into the PVC, and then you screw this in, you put, you open it, you put the barbed end in the chuck of a drill and then you just drill it in until it stops and it seals, it self seals itself. I have that drill bit, I probably have two of those drill bits but I can't find either one of them. And that's what I was looking for. And uh, it, it has the dimension, the 4.6 millimeter or number 13 drill bit. If not, use a 316. See, I should have read this. I have a 316 drill bit, I could just use that. Anywho, that's a project I wanna do. I have the, uh, the preceded sponges they're pretty much ready to go. I should be able to take pictures and get them up on the website this weekend. Hopefully that's the plan. So if you're looking for preceded sponges, uh, they'll be on michaelsfishroom.com, my website. Um, other projects I have, I would, like I said in the um, auto water change video, uh, I do wanna redo the system. I wanna move things, make it neater. Um, I just can't decide if I want to do that now or after I build this wall. Um, I had a, a subscriber and a friend who does construction was going to come to the house, build out my wall and um, for me. And you know, with the CV stuff, he got busy and then CV came along and now I don't know what's going to happen. I'm considering doing it myself. I by no means am a construction guy but I might be able to build this wall. It would be simple if it was just a wall, but on the ceiling there's like an air duct that I'd have to build around, and then, you know, I gotta hang the door and all that stuff. I'm not really sure I'm, I'm, I'm the right guy for the job, but with the CV stuff going on, I may just try it myself. So I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, it's just a wall. I'm not a body man. I'm more of a mechanic, right? Like I fix mechanical stuff, not, body work and to me a wall is body work so that's just me oh I got a question for you guys you might be able to answer I have a bunch of these China filters um, they're virus free of course but all the suction cups are gone there they got hard I lost them I threw them out uh, I don't know where they are do you know where to get replacement suction cups if you do let me know down in the comments below because I'd like to start using these again I have I don't know, I probably have four or five that don't have suction cups. Like I, I have two right here. You know, these, these I could start new tanks with these. The plan, by the way, for the ponds is I, I, would, I would use these or other filters starting now and then in next month when I actually put ponds out there, I'd put sponge filters in those ponds. Make sense? Uh, I'm probably gonna go pond crazy this year. I had a really good time last year with the ponds. Um, I've started planning mentally in my head where I'm gonna put them. Um, I did buy a special secret project pond that may or may not be like 700 gallons. You'll have to see when I do that video, when I do that series of videos, all for muck guppies, because those muck guppies 
not only were they gorgeous, they were great sellers. And I don't know how many times I can say this, I am doing this for money. Yes, I like YouTube, I like the talking to you guys and, and, and expressing myself, but if the website stopped selling uh, guppies, I would probably stop YouTube because that's why I do the YouTube is for the website. So for all those people that, that you know, say, ah, oh, he just does it for the money. Yes, that's true, I do, 100%. Do it for the money. In fact, go to teespring.com and buy a t-shirt. Please help support Michael's Fish Room for all the projects that I'm too lazy to do. All right, folks, I think that does it for this vlog. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I may or may not be doing these again based on your feedback. Um, sometimes I just, I don't feel like filming a video and really editing it. The editing in this video is gonna be very simple. I'm gonna have some bloopers at the end because uh, I did have to start a few times. There was maybe one cut I'm gonna have to do for this one and that's it, so. Anyway, hope you guys liked it. Let me know down in the comments below about the China filter um, suction cups. I don't have them, so somebody wants it, oh, put them in boiling water, take them out, and they'll be good, as good as new. I, I don't know where they are, so I actually need new ones. Um, let me know what you're doing in your fish room during this self-quarantine to, to you know help, and uh, hope everyone's doing great. Buy t-shirts and go to Michael's Fish Room. Buy lots of fish. See ya. All right, fishy folks, welcome back. Today's video is just a vlog, pretty much me talking about the fish room and some other things. Um, first and foremost, I hope everyone's doing okay during this really, really trying time. Uh, I'm not a big fan of actual people, so when I go to the store and I try to stay six feet away and people don't, I really get angry. Just letting you know, I really get angry. If I could, I don't know, if I could what, I just, I literally lost it. This is dumb. Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, a vlog. Just yours truly talking about stuff in the fish room and uh, you know, hopefully you guys like that because to be honest, that's what I'm gonna do today. You don't care that that's what I'm gonna do. I should, should start over. <coughs> Hiya fishy.